What's going on guys, it's your boy A28 back with another video and um, today we're going to be doing a, just a quick review of the new De DeWalt circular saw. This is the model, uh, let me show you guys real quick. This is model DCS575B. Uh, this is a seven and a quarter circular saw with break and this one's just a tool. This is a 60 volt lithium ion. Uh, the power corded, three times the power of 18 volt. Um, that's pretty much it. What's on the box? Um, let me see. Let me see what else. Yeah, like I said, it's all it's all the same thing on the box. So that's it. And we'll I'll also be doing another video on the flex volt <coughs> flex volt reciprocating saw. So I thought I'd show you guys the box, but uh, here's the uh, the saw. But I'll, before I show you. You know, I get too into detail with the saw. I'll let you guys uh, know where I got this from. I actually got this from Acme Tools. Uh, like I said, this is the, the bare tool only, the circular saw. Uh, this will run you about 180 bucks. Um, it's, pro it's pretty much what you're uh, going to pay for it on Amazon, but this is actually where I ordered it from. I actually got a pretty good deal on this and the reciprocating saw. I actually got 10% uh, off. So what? You know, it should have been 360 with tax. It would have been 380. I ended up getting these for about 330, 320. It was around there, so it was a pretty good deal. You know, I, I grabbed them up and snatched them up. And the reason I, I only got the bare tool is because I already have four flex volt batteries. You know, and I I didn't really think you know it's not worth 300 bucks just to get a battery and a charger when I already have a charger and four batteries. So it is what it is. Uh, you know, save yourself some money. You know, if you do got the batteries. Don't you? I mean, you don't really need the kit, but let's get into detail. I'll get into detail about you know the circular saw, the things I liked, the things I didn't like. But first, uh, we'll get into it. I mean, <laughs> I probably won't be able to, you know, you know, I'll try to point things out because I'm trying to hold this uh, camera with one hand and trying to let me see if I could get this tripod to stand still. All right, so I got it in, but as you can see, I already actually put some wear onto this, uh, the tool. Actually, it was cutting down a table that I had in my backyard. Also cut, also cut down some trim. Um, I removed some trim from uh, some bedrooms, and uh, I just cut them in there. I mean, it was it was nice, you know, just cut them in half with this, and uh, just threw them away. But I haven't really used it, you know, like for framing yet or to lay down, you know. For wood floors or anything so um but let's get into it real quick um usually like i said you got your flex bolt battery right here uh your 60 volt um take that off real quick so i can show you you got your you got your uh, this is like a a safety switch so that way you could uh like if you have kids or anything the kids won't be able to use this so you have to engage the switch first and then let it go. And then uh, you, you see the switch back here. This switch, you actually, see, you loosen it up and you'll be able to, I want, you know, the bottom of the shoe, you'll be able to adjust it. So if you don't want it flat, let me show you guys. So if you don't want it flat, you could, you know, get in different angles. But if you want it straight flat, then you just lay down, tighten it up. That's about it. Uh, with the switch and this is the brushless model so you're supposed to you're supposed to get more longevity out of the batteries a better uh you know lifetime more more longevity on the motor of the tool so you know that's what they're claiming so we'll see <laughs> and then on this side you got your little lever so you can switch angles or degrees so you go up to this goes up to i want to say 50 I think that's a 57 so you got to switch you just take this off you loosen it up and then you'll be able to get the degree you want angle you want and another thing uh you have a little light right here um let me try, I'll, I'll show you guys before i end the video i'll have to put the battery back in there and then um this like i said this also comes with the brake so when you actually use it it'll stop right away real quick and you know this guard's made out of metal which a lot of people complain about when you know you have a high-end product and has a, a plastic shield which is actually really nice um, and this is how you take off you know the the blade 
Um, I will update it eventually to a Diablo Blade, but right now it's actually, you know, works just fine for what I need it. So, I mean, that's about it. It's pretty basic. Uh, and this right here is actually, so whenever you do take off the blade, stop it from spinning. So you can take off the, the blade and then you got your handle. But that's about it. Um, I actually really, really like this. Uh, there is, it has actually a lot of power. Um, you know, but I was, I don't know. I haven't, like I said, I haven't done any runtime test or I haven't run it or used it so much where it's, you know, I could tell you guys if it drains the battery, but it's actually a really pretty nice saw. Um, like I said, for a hundred, I got it for 160 bucks. It's a good deal. And, uh, I think this will, this would probably be one of the top of the line cordless circular saws. I think that in the Milwaukee, probably the top, you know, heavy hitters on the circular saws but um you know that's about it and um let me let me plug in the the battery that way i can show you guys i'm gonna spin it real quick and show you, so you guys can see the brake action real quick so, as you can see the the blade stops immediately after and the one thing even though this does have a light the light actually really sucks um it's kind of pointless to be honest as you can see it's in front of this this uh angle of degree adjuster which is pretty stupid if you ask me so it's pretty much casting the shadow towards this like i said it's kind of useless um i don't know i think they could have put it somewhere up here or integrated it somewhere else but it's kind of pointless to be honest and uh let me see i was gonna tell you guys something else um Oh, another thing, this is a right-handed circular saw. Um, I read a lot of, a couple of reviews and comments about people complaining that this is useless. I mean, the left and the right have their pros and their cons. So, I mean, it just a, it's just a matter of what your preference is on the saw. So, you know, like I said, it's a right, right-handed saw only. They still haven't made a left side, left-handed, left-handed one, so... Just, you know, before you buy it, you know, if you actually use the left, you know, that I'll let you guys know. But there you guys have it. This is a, this is the DSS 57.5B circular saw from DeWalt. If you guys got any questions or comments, you know, just leave it down in the comment section. Uh, you know, if you want me to check out <laughs> anything else, but it's a pretty, you know, basic tool. Um, you know, just to cut two by fours. Uh, like I said, it's not a precision tool, but you know, just to make quick cuts. And I mean, you could always use your, your, your straight edge, you know, to get nice clean cuts. But there you guys have it. I hope you guys enjoyed the video, guys. And until next time, peace.